Hey, what's up and welcome to Riding with the Selby. So I just wanted to take a minute today to give you guys a bit of a bike check on my son's uh, giant talon here and um, just kind of show you guys uh, what all you can do to these bikes uh, to make it a pretty, uh, pretty inexpensive um, but very, very capable hardtail. So this bike here is actually a 2014 model. Uh, started out as a giant Talon 5, which is was the base model. Uh, and it was actually my bike. And as my son's grown, I passed it on to him. So uh, first off uh, up here for the bars and stem, um, it's just a pretty inexpensive uh, wake stem and wake bars. Um, I know there's kind of mixed reviews, mixed thoughts on these. Um, He's uh, ridden the stem pretty hard now for a couple of years, and we haven't run into any issues with it. And uh, the bars are new, but uh, they seem to be overall good quality. Like I said, I know there's a lot of mixed opinions, mixed reviews and stuff on them. Um, we're going to kind of run them for now, see what happens, and you know, hopefully we won't have any issues. But um, moving on to the brakes, uh, we upgraded them to sh uh, some Shimano hydraulic brakes. Um, they two piston uh, work great. Um, I can't remember the exact model, but I think they're uh, 300 and 300 series or so. Um, and then for the uh, for the drivetrain, uh, we're running the Micro Shift Advent X nine speed uh, clutch derailleur. Um, pretty wide range cassette. Um, it just it works great. Uh, I think all together for the drivetrain, we were in at about 150 bucks. Um, that's for the shifter, derailleur, and the cassette. Um, no issues whatsoever. Awesome stuff there. Uh, for the crank set, he just uh, picked up this IXF uh, crank set. Um, it's got a external bottom bracket. Uh, seems to be pretty good so far. Um, then he's running a narrow wide uh, front chain ring there, uh, 32 tooth. And then um, for the wheel set, uh, I picked these up a couple years ago on Jensen. Uh, they were on, on clearance. Uh, they're a race face affect uh, wheel set. Um, they've uh, straight, uh, straight pull spokes and uh, work excellent. Um, no issues there either. Um, you keep your, if you keep your eyes open for, uh, for budget wheel sets on coming through Jensen and stuff, a lot of times you can find stuff uh, pretty cheap or at least before the part shortages and everything else. And then uh, moving on to the seat post here is this KS Exaform Speed Up. It's it's a dropper, but it's got a lever there on the seat post. You just operate it manually. Yet again, pretty budget option. Works, nothing special. Um, it's definitely not as convenient or as nice as a normal dropper, but it does work. Um, and then for the fork, he also just picked this up here too. It's a Manitou Markor. Um, we have been running a Suntour Radon on this that I had bought back in probably 2015 when the bike was about six months old. Um, that was a great fork, still have it. I'm probably going to end up putting it on my wife's bike. Um, but this Manitou here is, is pretty doggone nice. Um, straight steer, uh, nine millimeter dropout, uh, open dropouts. Um, air fork. It's pretty, you know, pretty simple, basic adjustments, uh, just compression, rebound, and air. But uh, just, it works great overall. But uh, as far as these giant talons, talons go, um, they're just, they're a really nice base. Uh, pretty inexpensive. You can pick them up new uh, when you can find them in stock. I think for, I think the base model now is probably pushing about 600 bucks. Um, but Overall, they're, they, you know, with some modifications, they are a very capable bike and do work really well. So, but so yeah, so if you're looking for just a nice, uh, like I said, a nice budget bike and, um, to, you know, hardtail to have to build up, uh, whether you're a beginner or like for your kids or something like that, these, these bikes really work, do work great. And, uh, you can find them a lot of times too. You look around on Facebook marketplace and stuff like that. Um, usually, you know, a couple years old, still pretty good shape for about 450 bucks or so. So yeah, definitely, definitely a nice bike to have, you know, the second bike or whatever. But, uh, anyway, that's kind of our, uh, kind of a bike check and, um, a little bit of review on this, you know, heavily upgraded, uh, giant talon, but, uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos. And hopefully here before too long, the weather will start to break for us and, 
definitely be able to get a lot more riding type of content out to you guys. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.